Good morning. Today what we're going to do is we're going to use a, our manual measurement tool to basically collect points and um, maybe we'll construct some lines but uh, just kind of an overview of some of the manual measurement tools and how to collect points using your manual measurement tools. So um, we'll start out with uh, along this right edge and we're going to use our crosshair. So um, I'm going to uh, Tell it, tell zone three that I want to measure a point, and I'm going to use my crosshair. Now, uh, at times you may find the need to program a manual point in, and this is how you do it. So, um, we'll start out here with uh, our crosshair. Uh, our crosshair is, um, I'm just aligning it on this edge here, uh, and I've got a point in a crosshair. Now, if I wanted to capture that point. On the joystick, I would press the enter button. When I press the enter button, the point is captured. Uh, there's my point cloud. Um, I could continue to capture points. Uh, however, what that would do is that would give us me one point that average. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click again, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to capture another one along that edge. I'm just going to capture, and we'll just capture three points here. Uh, along that edge and each time I align it and I press the the uh, have, oh there I took a second one I want to make sure I press again each time there's all oh, here's my third point uh, another way you can collect points um, another way that you can collect points so we can use a uh, one of our circle tools so here's our circle tool now that though it will give you a diameter what we're going to do is uh, we, if we want to define the center of a circle and that's really what we're capturing here so uh, when I when I go ahead and line up in there and I'm going to just kind of set this here in the middle expand it yeah kind of right there so looks pretty good um, what I want to do is uh, I'm going to measure a point this time I'll use my circle tool and once again pressing the pressing the uh, enter button I capture I capture that point um, I'll do that let's do that again we'll go up to that top we're using the fast start part a lot of you have that came with your machine um, and uh, just some basic stuff if you're coll collecting points you know here we go um, I collected another one. Uh, another way we could collect points using a manual tool is that uh, uh, I could collect um, points using uh, the point entry tool, and that's uh, just clicking. You know, wherever I click, it's going to grab a point. Each time I click again, because I only want to capture one point, and so I've collected some points. Just one way to do it. If you take a look at your, um, you know, take a look at your model window, and here we, you can see those points we've collected. Um, there's our three along the edge. That's that circle, and. So really, we're just collecting points. Um, you can use points for beginning alignments, uh, and uh, in order to reset uh, uh, a part that's not always in the same spot. Um, so you have uh, you can program. And if I was to run this program, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, let's go to the top of the program, and what it's going to do is we're going to run it. Run the program. It takes me to that spot and looking for verification I can just hit the enter button go ahead and takes another point um, you know each time it takes a point you know line it up each time I'm pressing the enter button on the joystick uh, here I'm clicking inside the box uh, at the on the edge that I'm trying to find and there run the program and this is just um, really um, 
you know we've measured those points we've collected them uh, now we could construct we could construct lines we could construct distances uh, we have a lot of different options but if you want to do a measure manual measurement point you have many different options uh, each one of the targets will return a point at the center um, and uh, the most common ones you'll probably use the crosshair circle or point entry um, but your your manual targets if programmed into your if they are programmed into the routine uh, they will require user input uh, each time that the program is run i right, hope this helps thanks